the difference with this event compared to other ones is that there's no points involved. So when you come into this, second place doesn't matter, third place doesn't matter, making a top 10, none of that matters. It's literally all about winning because I've finished second in this gig and it sucks. Cliff Pace did what he needed to do over the three days and, and beat me you know, by a couple pounds. Uh, yeah. you know, that's, that's the closest I've been. It's a little hard to swallow, but I mean, what do you do? All you can do is get geared up and battle for the next one. I had a ton of people uh, ask me, did you prepare for your speech? Did you write it down? What'd you write down? I didn't write a single thing down. Because I didn't want to come up here and speak to everyone off of a piece of paper. I wanted it to come from the heart. One of my biggest pet peeves, and I know a bunch of you other anglers have heard this, is I would be a professional if I had a ton of money and if everybody paid for it. If I had a bunch of money, I would fish professionally. I'm here to tell you, and I know a bunch of you are, that doesn't matter. And this goes out to the other Federation guys, the team championship guys, the college kids that have qualified. You earned your right to be here, right? Every single guy that is fishing this week has earned his right to be here, whether it's through the opens, the elites, whatever it may be, you've earned your right to be here. Thank you, and let's enjoy our night and enjoy the rest of the week. the classic stage looks like as it's being built before it's completely filled with fans we're getting the behind the scenes look this is what it looks like right come on i don't even know where we're at but we're here for the classic in the arena whatever this arena is called what's up everybody i'm brandon polinick 2017 bassmaster angler of the year here at the 2018 bassmaster classic looking for my first win Uh, it's been a struggle. Uh, it's a lot different than I think a lot of us expected coming into the event. Um, so it's going to be all about adapting. Coming to this event, I really felt like a good way to win would be to have a mix of deep fish, shallow fish, uh, and then and that's how the guy would win it. But the way that Mother Nature has kind of played things out this week, I really think that it's it's going to be a shallow gig, um, and guys and guys will still compete, and it still could be one deep. Uh, there'll be plenty of guys up toward the top that fish deep, but for me and what I have found, I'm committed shallow. Now I still have some deep stuff that if I need to run to, I will, but. I'm committing to to the shallow bite because I think it's probably the most risky at this point, but I also think it's the best way to win. Not even as much about the winning part as it's just way more fun to catch them. <laughs> like it sucks to not catch them. My favorite part of the morning. If people start talking to me and I <laughs> and I don't respond, just let them talk to you. Yeah, or at least like hit me and be like, "Hey, someone's talking to you." Thanks, man. Hey, hey, look at you. Bingo. Welcome to the Bassmaster Classic. <laughs> 
It's a little crazy. All right, guys. Next time you see us, we're gonna be blasting off and do our first stop. Day one, 2018 Bassmaster Classic. And then shortly after that, probably a six pounder jumping in slow motion. Insert now. I don't know about that. I'm trying to catch me a big old fat bass. Weeks ago, I thought about a seven pounder. Yeah. <laughs> I'll believe it. Don't tell me anymore. Okay. I'm not allowed to get any info. All right, I will be out of your way. Thanks for letting me fish it. There we go. What do I got? A shad. A big old gizzard shad. Big old nasty shad. You gotta find the ones that are eating those. Big it. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here, man. Come here. Come here. Come Get in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. It was interesting. <laughs> we started off with a really good bite. Uh, caught like a three and a half pounder. And I thought we were gonna catch them really good, shallow. I thought they would just keep coming and it got tough. Um, I had three fish, I think, uh, with like 35 minutes to go. Caught my fourth one and on the way back, decided to hit one deep brush pile and rolled up first cast, caught like a two pound spot. <laughs> and so, I mean, that, that two pounds is a big deal. Because at least now, at least now we're in the hunt where if we go catch 20 tomorrow, we can get us ourselves back in this thing. Fishing is an eight that guy called Bass Master Classic. From Prodigy to Apex Predator of Professional Bass Fishing in 2017. South Carolina, get loud! The Prodigy Brendan Polinick. Get loud for Hook Pro, Brandon Polinick. Five fish for 13 pounds even, and he rounds out our top 12. 13 even. Yeah, the Oscar Pro Brandon Polnick. Rounding out our top 12. What's up, everybody? Brandon Polnick here. Just got done weighing in at the 2018 Bassmaster Classic Day One and had 13 pounds. Uh, when we weighed in, that had us in 12th place. Probably going to drop down somewhere middle of the pack, but I think about 19 and a half is leading right now, so we're not way out of it go out there tomorrow we got a weather change smash 20 pounds and we're right back in this thing that's all you can ask for going into the final day to be in contention to win and that's that's our goal 20 pounds tomorrow and then see what happens today ladies and gentlemen is saturday march don't even know the date <laughs> 17th it's day two bassmaster classic 
Bella, get your nose out the shot. <laughs> uh, day two, Bassmaster Classic. Uh, we're sitting in 26th place. They only take the top 25 to fish tomorrow. So we need to step it up a little bit today. Uh, may actually start things off a little bit different today. I may start on some spotted bass, uh, just hit a few brush piles real quick, see if we can't pick off two or three and then go largemouth fishing this afternoon. Got a little bit different weather, some rain, a um, little bit of clouds and stuff that should change things. So hopefully we can slide in, fish Sunday, catch 20 pounds, getting back in contention, just still try to win this thing. They're scattered all over the place. There we go. Oh, he's little, I think. Yeah. Tiny. Tiny, tiny little fella. Oh my goodness, he measures. That's sad. Oh, whole bunch of them streaking down. Oh, and you're gonna come back up? If you're gonna come back up, I'm gonna drop something on you. Got him. No! <sighs> Gosh dang it. I felt like a decent one too. ahead of where we were yesterday though because I don't think I caught my first one till like 9, 9.30. And we've got one that was bigger than the smallest one I weighed yesterday. So we're ahead. Just need to go get those big bites again. Yesterday I had four pretty good ones and then I just had one little 12 inch or so. Uh, fingers crossed that we get a fish again tomorrow. 
you're fishing tomorrow, who knows what happens. All right, so that's all we can hope for. So is this desk gonna get a little wet tomorrow too? Oh, I do believe so. Uh oh. Oh, I do you believe got, so. You you gonna show us a little something? I do believe so. so. Yeah, a couple of them. Oh yeah, that'll work. We'd like to stay out there. That dog will hunt. Dominator. Guts with the guns and the giant slayers. <laughs> consistent 23 pound bags is the only problem. Uh, had a blast today. I fished some new water. Uh, thought I got onto something. I'm just hoping I get to go again tomorrow. Um, as long as you're fishing tomorrow, anything can happen. Uh, today I switched things up. I actually started deep just to get a few bites early uh, to get the confidence going and left and went largemouth fishing with three spots and pulled into a creek that I hadn't had a bite in all week and got in there and there were fish schooling and I ended up catching them on a bladed jig, a spinner bait, um, flipping jig. I caught them doing a bunch of different things. So I'm probably gonna make it till tomorrow. I had a better average today, but I still weighed exactly 13 pounds again. So I've got 26 even and should be fishing again tomorrow. We'll get out there and hopefully, who knows what could happen. Catch 25 pounds and make a run at this thing. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Officially made it in the cut. Live to fight another day. Head back to the camper. All our tackles done. So just hang out, relax. How many pounds today, Tiff? 30. Still waiting for my 30 pound day. Only 30? I think 30's getting kind of greedy as it is. How's this sound? That way I got gas fumes on it, so when I'm on fire later today, it'll be a big explosion. We go. Oh, we're bringing out the big dogs. I can't show you this. This is top secret. Top secret. Not allowed to see it. There's what we pretty much caught all our fish on this week. Molex Venator spinnerbait, uh, DT6. Brown craw, a 3 8 black Molex Kento jig, and the old chatter wagon. We're fishing. See you guys out there. Is that a beaver or a 10 pounder? Oh, I see one. Look on that far side. Turn, turn, turn. And he swam the other way. <laughs> Literally swam away from it. I was like a four pounder. Oh no! I think I just freaking had him. I think he freaking ate it. Somehow I managed to screw it up. Swim jig bite. Oh my gosh, a giant. Freaking almost five pounder. Gosh, I got a hook in him though. Oh. It's there again. Dude, there is a mega, mega one under this dock. It's freaking massive. I saw it swim back up under there. 
It's sitting right in the middle, the two middle floats. <laughs> it went, shoof. Oh, that was a giant one. <laughs> Cannot make a freaking good cast. <laughs> Look at that thing, dude. Things a mega. Hustle mode. Going for the win. Get on up in here. That sucker choked it. A little better size. This one's gonna bother me for a while just because I feel like I didn't make the best decisions and possibly could have had a shot at this thing. So, uh, we only got three bass, three decent ones, but we're not going to win this year. From Hayden, Idaho, Brendan! Gives him 35 pounds and four ounces, and the prodigy moves into sixth place currently. Get loud for Brandon Palmer. Man, we were literally a week away, or not even maybe a week, maybe two days. What I saw today, crazy things could have happened. Um, I thought. Knowing what I know now, I would have made different decisions, and that's gonna haunt me for a while. If you guys are anywhere near Hartwell, you guys need to be fishing this next week because it's about to go gangbusters. I mean, all these fish have been waiting and waiting. They're about to pull up, and it's about to be crazy. Just like this way in. This way in's gonna be a lot of fun. Well, let's hear it for Angler of the Year. All right, they're about halfway through the Super Six right now. Ayler already weighed in. He had a little bit more than he thought. He had over 16. That's got him in the lead right now before they weigh the Super 6. And uh, I think it's going to be between Jordan and between Brent. The crazy part is, it was between those two guys last year at the Classic. Ayler ended up finishing third, but he went out in the lead on the last day and Jordan ended up winning, so it's gonna be an exciting way in, man. Makes me emotional. 16 pounds!
We're back at the Hilton, pretty much where our week started. We're going into the Champions Test, which is pretty much like a rerun of last year because freaking Jordan Lee won again. Back-to-back -back classics. Kid's an animal. Uh, super cool to see, but at the same time, hard to see uh, my buddies like Jason and Brent lose. So, bittersweet, uh, but we're gonna go in, celebrate with Jordan. Super cool. Congrats to Jordan. Unbelievable, man. Hey, guys, song for you. Hey! You know that song? Back to back. <laughs> How you going? Back to back. I know that song. I know my rap. You're dirty. That was Didn't see that one coming, did you? Did you? No, not no. till not till I loaded up my boat and looked at Bass Track and went, holy. Let's see, what would I like to say? We will end this one with congrats to Jordan. Proof that anything can happen at the Bassmaster Classic or anything can happen in this crazy sport that we all love called bass fishing. Subscribe to the channel and keep a lookout for the Sabine River coming up next.